Hello everyone. Let's do the workbook solutions for NCERT class 5th EVS chapter number 11 Sunita in space. Question number 1 fill in the blanks. Number 1 the blue parts of the globe are seas and oceans. Number 2 water floats like blobs in space. Number 3 Sunita Williams has spent more than 6 months in space. Number 4 Sunita Williams could only make out the land and seas on the earth from space. Question number 2. Write true or false. Number 1. The sky, stars, sun and moon are inside the globe? No, that is false. Number 2. Food and water also float in a spaceship? Yes, that is true. Number 3. The earth pulls everything towards itself? Yes, that is true. Number 4. Sunita Williams went 630 kilometers away from the earth? No, that is false. She went 360 kilometers away from the earth. Number 5. There are lines drawn on the ground between the states and countries? No, that is false. Question 3. Multiple choice type question. Number 1. Which of the following countries is situated on the lower part of the globe? It is Brazil and Argentina. Number 2. Which of the following are in space? Star, sun, moon, all of these are in space. Number 3. Which of the following festivals are related to the moon? There is a complication in this question because Guru Parv is also celebrated on full moon. And even Eid is also celebrated on moon. So I guess there is a printing mistake in this following question. Guru Purnima and Eid both are and they are related to moon. Question 4. In high school, Sunita wanted to become a teacher. Number 5. When did Sunita Williams set a new record for the longest space flight by a woman? It was in the year 2007. Question 4. Observe the following picture and write their numbers against the correct statements associated with them. So statement number 1. Look, my hair is standing, no problem while working. This is shown in picture number 4. Number 2. Sunita outside the spaceship, really in space. This is shown in picture number 5. Number 3. We take off. This is shown in picture number 3. Statement number 4. Where is this food flying away? This is shown in picture number 1. And last one. Our feet don't stay on the floor. This is shown in picture number 2. Next question give reasons. Number 1. People living in Brazil and Argentina, countries on the lower part of the globe, do not fall off. Due to the earth's gravitational force, they do not fall off. Number 2. The sea water doesn't fall off. Answer. Because of the earth's gravitational force, the sea water does not fall off. Number 3. Paper has to be stuck to the walls of a spaceship in space because in space there is zero gravity. Number 4. In space there was no need to use a comb because their hair always used to be standing in upward position. Next question. In a spaceship, space travelers did not experience the pull of the earth because the earth's gravitational force works only on the earth and there is no gravity in space. Question 6. When we throw a ball, it falls back. It falls back because of the earth's gravitational pull. Number 7. Children always slide down the slide and not slide up. Because of the earth's gravitational pull, they always slide down. Number 8. From mountains, water flow downwards, not upwards. Answer. Because of the earth's gravitational force, the water always slide down. Question number 6. Write if the following incident will take place in space or on earth. Number 1. Person floats in air. Person will float in air only in space. Number 2. Water stays in a bucket. Water will stay in a bucket only on the earth because of the earth's gravitational pull. Number 3. Water takes shape of blobs in space. Number 4. Food will float in space. Number 5. Hair will keep standing only in space. Number 6. Water falls downwards on a slope only on earth because of the earth's gravitational pull. And number 7. A coin will come back to our hand when we throw up. It will happen only on the earth. Question number 7. Answer the following in one word or one sentence. Question 1. From whom was Sunita inspired in her childhood? Sunita Williams was inspired by Kalpana Chawla in her childhood. Question 2. What did Sunita want to become when she was young? Sunita wanted to become a teacher when she was young. Number 3. What did she become when she grew up? She became an astronaut. Number 4. What record did Sunita make? 
to become the first woman for the longest space walk question number 8 answer the following briefly question 1 who is sunita williams why did she come to india answer sunita williams is a woman astronaut she came to india to fulfill her friend kalpana chawla's dream and to meet the children of india question 2 what was kalpana's dream answer kalpana's dream was to come to india and meet school children number 3 how did sunita describe her view of the earth from the space answer sunita says that earth looks beautiful and amazing from the space there are no lines on the land only the blue ocean and the land are visible from the space next question a coin and a small piece of paper which is equal to the size of the coin are dropped from the same height and at the same time the coin reaches the ground first why is it so because of the coin is heavy than the piece of the paper so the coin reaches the ground first next question all the lines on the maps are made by us they all are in our minds who said these words these words are said by sunita williams what do you understand from these words answer we understand that nature has given us the gift of life on earth but it is we humans who have divided the land among ourselves through the lines next question long answer type questions how does the earth appear from the surface of the moon the earth appears very beautiful and amazing from the surface of the moon blue sea and land is clearly visible from our planet earth next question sunita williams explained that they that is the space travelers do very simple things differently so how do they do these things and why so first is sitting at one place next is washing their face third is eating food and fourth is combing for sitting at one place they had to tie themselves with the chair for washing their face they had to catch the blobs of water and wet the tissue paper with it to wash their face for eating food they had to float into the dining area and catch the food packets and and for combing there was no need for combing as their hair used to keep standing all the time question number 11 observe the given shapes of the moon here you can see all the phases of the moon here the half circle denotes the crescent shape of the moon full shaded portion shows the no moon that is amavasya and full white color portion shows the full moon night or the purnima now put a tick mark on the shape when it will be full moon so full moon will be here which is also called purnima second put a tick mark on the crescent moon crescent moon is shown here third put a tick mark on no moon night and no moon night or amavasya is shown here question number 12 explain the terms given below first is astrology astrology is the study of the movement of planets and its influence on human and the natural world what is a shooting star shooting star is a small rapidly moving meteorite which burns up when it enters the earth's atmosphere what is a spaceship spaceship is a vehicle which is designed to take the astronauts in the space for their space study what is a satellite a satellite is an artificial body that is man made and that revolves around a planet or moon to collect information or communication and last one what is a globe globe is a model of the earth this is how we end our workbook solution hope you like it the link for the explanation of this chapter is given in the description box we will meet very soon with the explanation of our next chapter till then thank you very much and god bless you all Thanks for watching and do like share subscribe our channel Mint Talk India for more upcoming videos